Let's work to the concept of cross price elasticity of demand. So what does this cross mean over here? Basically, we're going to speak about two products. Namely, how does the change in quantity demanded of good A going to be relative to the change in price of good B? So let's write it a bit more formal and we'll see what we're talking about. Let's call this elasticity of A and B, meaning we're going to speak about the percentage change in quantity demanded of good A relative to the percentage change in price B. How do we define percentage changes? Well, that's going to be the quantity demanded, the change in quantity demanded of good A relative to the initial quantity demanded of good A divided by the change in price of good B relative to the initial price of good B. So let's do some math here to group the deltas together as always. That's going to be the change in quantity demanded of good A divided by the quantity demanded of good A times the price of good B divided by the change of price of good B because we just multiply here with the inverse. Let's zoom out, make some more space. Uh, here so we would group the deltas together like that and these ones together like that so we would have the change in quantity demanded of good A divided by the change in the price of good B times the price of good B divided by the quantity demanded of good A. Now this all looks like abstract but let's give two examples and we'll see what kind of products we are talking about. So what if we have this elasticity of A and B equals to let's say minus 0.4. Well that means that if the price of B increases by 1%, remember we are comparing the change in price of B here, so the price of B increases by 1% then the quantity demanded of good A decreases, because it's a negative sign, by 0.4%. Now why would the quantity of good A decrease? Let's see the chain of reactions that leads to that. Well look, if the price of B, I'm going to write here like that, if the price of B goes up by 1%, then that means that quantity demanded of price B goes down, which leads to the quantity demanded of good A also to go down and eventually the reaction happens that this one started with an increase of 1% and it went all the way to here where the quantity demanded of A decreases by 0.4%. Now why would this happen? Well that would happen because we need both good A and good B and if we decrease the demand for one we will also decrease the demand for the other one and these are called complements these are called complements. So because the price of the good B goes up, we can afford less of that, we will also have to buy less of A because there is no need for us to buy the product A if we cannot complement it with product B. So the effect on the quantity goes for both goods, they are complements. Now let's give a, a different example. What if this elasticity of A and B is equal to is equal to 1.3. Well that means that if the price of good B increases by 1% then the quantity demanded of good A decreases sorry the quantity it's positive right so it's increasing the quantity demanded of good A increases by 1.3% and why would that be the case? Well let's see the chain of reactions here how does the logic go? the price of good B increases that means that the quantity of good the quantity demanded of good B decreases and that leads to an increase in the quantity demanded of good A so why would we increase the quantity demanded of good A after we reduce the quantity demanded of good B because we replace it or in other words we substitute it that's how you call it in economics right substitutes substitutes we don't necessarily prefer B over A. We are pretty much pretty much indifferent between them, so we can we can replace that demand by the other demand. So we we are going to replace the product A for product B. I hope this makes sense and we are done.